Hey guys, and welcome to the next episode. So today we're working on the head. So I've gone ahead, I put the small little pin on the inside, and I attached the bottom. So that's all we're going to attach for this part. We're not going to put the gun barrels on or anything like that. We're just going to paint the head as it is. And then we'll have one episode where we go over the details for both the head and the body. So once we have both pieces ready to go. We'll add the rest of the details here. We'll add the rest of the details here. We'll put the snow on both. Um, and I might even just go ahead and combine that episode with the neck. So let's go ahead and pop into this little view here. And let me pull up some reference material. Okay, so let's start with the side of the head. Now we're using the same uh reference material that we we're using before so this is just from our actual build reference and you can see here that we've got some streaking that's going on below here this is kind of a mixture of streaking and a little bit of airbrushing it looks like they actually put some tape on here to make it nice and straight so we'll try to replicate that we've got some streaking lines at the top so you could kind of go through and you could streak this top area as much as you want to We've got a little bit of discoloration here, and then we've got some actual airbrush here. Now, this isn't a fantastic picture, but it looks like there's some very light streaking going on just kind of down the side. So we're going to go ahead and start with the basic streaking first, then we'll do the airbrushing later. So we'll start here. We'll streak from the center line. So looking at it here, we're going to streak from this center line down. Then we're going to streak underneath here. We're going to streak across here. We're going to streak across here. We're going to do some light streaking across here and some light streaking here. Then airbrushing here, airbrushing here, a little bit of airbrushing up here. And then we'll fill this in with a little bit of airbrushing and some masking tape on the sides. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So first off, uh, we were using dark grime. So we will continue that particular process. So dark grime begins the painting. So we've got our little mixing container and our mixture of tartar and fluid. So let's go ahead and mix up some paint. And then again, you know, we're trying to kind of stay in the surface, so we don't need very much paint in here. If you look at that, there's not much paint in there. And quite a bit of thinner. And then we're just going to take a throwaway brush and mix that all together. Okay, let's see here. So we can start under here because this is where it's going to get hidden. So this is a great place to begin, just to see what our mixture looks like. It looks pretty good. So again, we're going to fill that area. And then we use our finger get those streaks. So you can just kind of barely see. Again, we're just staining the surface right now. We'll come back with darker colors after. This is just kind of setting up our zones.
to get under here. And that's a little harder to, to pull your streaking, so you can just use a dry brush. Pull it out. Wipe it down. Got a nice streak going on right there. And then up here. So these streaks are probably going to be the main ones that remain. We're not going to do a lot of heavy streaking because you can barely tell in the reference material what's streaking there and what isn't streaking there. If you look back here, you know, it looks pretty pretty even, but you know that there's a lot of layers going on. So we can use the dark grime as that main color. And we won't go over that with, you know, a weathered black or anything like that. Providing a little bit of surface breakup. Okay, so we've got that going on. Let's go ahead and look at what the other side looks like. Okay, so if you check out this side, we've got a lot heavier streaking on the back side. And then it looks like they just kind of repeated themselves here, but there's no real darkness here. So we might just do some regular streaking there. We got some streaking down here couple of spots which we can add with the airbrush. So let's go ahead and get to work on that. So we'll start with the heavier streaking. So this is actually working really well with just the throwaway brush because it is still a very stiff brush. And you need a stiff brush if you're going to be doing streaking lines. If you use a soft brush, then the you can't get them to be very wide or have a very sharp. So it's important to use something very stiff. But that's where the the cheating of the finger also helps to even out those those drips. So you can be pretty haphazard. But your finger won't make anything super sharp, so just be aware of that. All right, we've got a little bit here. Spotting. They did the same thing basically here. Now, if you have issues with this, like if you feel like it's sticking too much or something, you may have not put in your uh, satin finish because this is a satin finish. So it's not going to bleed or absorb the acrylic paint. If you didn't do that, then the Archive X acrylics will are very dry. They're pretty hard, but they're very dry. So when you put this on top, you may not have much of ability to, to move it around after you put it down. tapping it off after I put my paintbrush in the paint can. If you have too much, then you're not going to be able to streak. You'll just kind of swab it around. Okay, 
So that's the basics there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the front. Okay, so this picture here shows off a nice section of the front. You can see we've got quite a bit of streaking going on. So we've got multi-layered lines of streaking going all the way across here. We've got this very apparent dark line going all the way across here. This is just going to continue going downwards. It's also interesting to note, like they're using, I don't even know what this would be called. This might just be plaster for their snow on the model itself. We're going to use uh, blasting beads, glass blasting beads. Um, the flow of the paint is all going forward. We've got a little bit of gray, which will be interesting. So when we start adding the details in, we're going to go and do some splotches of gray, which would be like paint chipping. So this is their, their paint chipping. But let's go ahead and here into the front. Tapping off my paintbrush again. And we're going to start here. And from this area, we're just going to kind of mark where that's going to be. There we go. And then we'll streak across here. front and we can probably continue we've got some dirty layers going on kind of all over the place here when you're tapping you do want to make sure that you kind of move in different angles and then you might want to put some paint on top because you uh, have the potential to leave your fingerprint in your paint. So be careful with that. All right, so we've got that nice little stain going on right there. So let's check the top now. Okay, so we've got our top. You can see there's not a whole lot going on here. It's really just kind of going through here. and dirtying it up. So we're just going to do a little bit of layering like this with some of our colors. Keep it nice and subtle up there. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what's on the phone. So the bottom looks very clean. There's not really a whole lot going on here. So you can see there's a little bit of yellowish going on. That's actually like glue residue, so we don't need to copy that. Um, 
we've got some stuff coming out of the front vent. And it looks like the rest of it is just going to be kind of like what we did with the top. Um, now I'm using the one of the dirtier versions as our paint source, so um, there's not a lot of information from the archive version as far as what's on the underside. So I can look real quick in the book and see. So give me a second. Okay, so we've got Star Wars Chronicles open here. And this particular model, the one in the archives, is extremely different than the one, um, the plaster cast one. So we can look at this one and we can make adjustments again if we want to add some extra contrast. So you can see this one has some, some pretty heavy streaking with those dark colors, which I like. And then underneath, it looks like airbrush work, airbrush work, airbrush work, airbrush, streaking, splattery. So maybe we start with the, I think that's gonna be it. Yeah, that's it. So it's not much to go on. So if we look at this one, right here, and you can screenshot that and use that as an example. I mean, that'll get you there for sure. Undersides, of course, you don't see very often, but you still want to get them to look good. So let's go ahead and shift back to here. So we'll start with, again, our light color, knowing that we're going to be doing a lot of airbrushing here. But let's go ahead and add some streaky stuff going on here. We'll start the layering process for this guy. Let's get some color going on in here. Get some color going on in there. Okay, so again, not, not much you can see because it's all, all just that light grime, but it does add to the effect. So why don't we go ahead and switch? Uh, let me turn the airbrush on and get that charged up, and then we will work on, I'm thinking, so we've got our weathered black. Obviously, that's kind of a darker tone. Um... Could go with a lark light gray. That isn't set. So we could we could start with we've got these two that go that go darker. Um but let's see if we can start adding some axe. Okay. So we've got our mixture we're starting with the lark light gray. And we're just gonna hit.
So I'm just kind of, I'm doing what, what I consider like a modeling type thing. I'm not trying to streak it. I'm just accenting the color. Just hitting on those edges. here. I mean, a lot of these, this one that's in the Chronicles book, I feel like they took it way too far, but... So let's hit this front area too. That grill, super important. All right, so on the back, it's not a, um, most of it's just gonna be kind of blended in. So let's just, Streak it. Put some accents around the sides. It's kind of dirty it up. Okay. So I think we are, I mean, we're actually pretty close to there, to be honest with you. I mean, we could add a lot more contrast, which I think we're going to do with that weathered black. But in general, so if we go back to this, again, this is too far. Or at least they, the way that the photograph is edited, it's too far. Though there are some aspects that I like, like I like some of the legs being darker. Um, I like this little bit of streaking here. But on a lot of this stuff, very, very, very contrasty. And then look at that. I mean, that's just like, whoa, too far, too far. Um, but just by adding in some of this gray chipping and then the snow effects later, it's really going to tie everything together. We don't really ever see the back. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up, and then we will move to the darker, darkest color. All right, let's go ahead and get move on for that maximum contrast. I'm going to go back to side view. Okay. The first thing to darken. Just a bit of section there. Here we know we've got that dark line there. Fill that in. And then I'm going to hit this on my own volition. I'm 
I'm just going to accent some of these edges. Okay, so if we take these parts, and we stick them together, they should look like they belong to the same group. Yeah, 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 I think so, I think so. So there we go. So as I said in the beginning, we will turn this thing off. Um, the next episode is going to be the neck, the guns, the little back plates, and any other details that I have missed. And then we will probably do um, a following episode right away that goes over all of the uh, snow. So... Look forward to that. We'll do that next week. Obviously, we've got a lot of things going on with getting vases put together and new products and all kinds of stuff. So I'm um, doing this as fast as we can. Plus, we have a bunch of these paint for people. So we're working on that, too. Um, so next video will come probably next week. But thank you guys very much for watching. And please show us off your heads when you get them painted. Thanks.